Ravenous is a 19 film directed by Antonia Bird and starring Guy Pearce, Robert Carlyle, Jeffrey Jones, and David Arquette. The film revolves around cannibalism in 1840s California and some elements bear similarities to the story of the Donner Party and that of Alfred Packer. Screenwriter Ted Griffin lists Packer's story, as recounted in a couple of paragraphs of Dashiell Hammett's The Thin Man, as one of his inspirations for Carlyle's character. Carlyle's character. Quirky, fast paced I saw underscore ravenous underscore at a 12.30 matinee with a handful of people in the audience. Perhaps it should not have been marketed as a mainstream film. This quirky little film is essentially serious, but has a tone that wobbles into comedy as effortlessly as real life. The comedy does not make the film any less powerful or disturbing. I would not be surprised if Antonia Bird is a vegetarian, because the film begins with an absolutely sickening dinner of something like prime rib that the wild editing style makes appear absolutely disgusting. I went disgusting. I went to Old Country Buffet that night and found myself still repulsed by red meat, particularly ribs, after seeing this film. And honor. Cap. Amen. 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 I'm sending you to California. What? Careful. Don't scratch it. Have a walnut, Boyd. Sing in the original languages. But uh, then this place thrives on tedium. Uh, you have a hope you don't mind hard water. So we inherited her. Now we're a way station for Western travelers out of Toffler, who's our personal emissary from the Lord. Right, steer clear of him. And Martha, you've met. <laughs> and then there's uh, right. Cleves Cooks. Knox used to be a veterinarian, so he plays doctor. Be number three in command. Oh, Heavenly Father, bless this mm. new What did you do then? I was buried. There's blood running down my throat. Something... We're gonna promote you, boy. With an addition to the post. Or beckon far. All right. Oh, 
Martha. Keep, keep him out of trouble. Right, what are you gonna get him up to, What did you get the medal for? Has got some excellent bourbon. Really fine stuff. And you want mine? Maybe, probably. Toffler! A religious hymn. <laughs> ah. You escaped the world. You come here. For anything about escape, though. Chance you might end up. Reich! Reich! Archie, Toffler, hot water. Lots and lots of hot water. Reich, see if you can wrap. Toffler, more water. Well, he's warm. Right. Ray. Toffler? <laughs> Your duty. Yes? Major knock. Major knock. 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 <laughs> California. Western Sierra Nevadas. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Oh, God. How are you feeling? Not bad? It's a dream. How long? Oh. Uh, top help him. Good. Thirty pounds heavier. I said no food. I didn't say there was nothing to eat. You understand? If you feel up to it. Yes. McCready and his wife from Ireland. And our guide. I don't think I know him. Well, the better for you. He professed to know a new and impossible to travel. <laughs> From this place, that was November. But the storm did not pass. We ate. That lasted us about a month. Any roots we could dig up, but you know, there's no real. The day that Jones died, I was out collecting wood. The others were cooking his legs for dinner. Oh. At that cave. I thank the Lord. And then things got out of hand. Meat did not last us a week, and we were soon on. <laughs> Savage. Janus was the first to be killed. McCready's wife and I alone, and I knew in that company the Mudley Manor. Would have been no. She's still uh, there. I'm coming along. It's you. It's tough. George. What? Ojibwe, I know the Hamado glow gashly. It eats another's flesh. Um, it's usually an enemy. Steals his strength, essence, his spirit. It's, uh, Insatiable. Him, Lou, Mama. He eats the stronger he becomes. Georgia, people don't. Me, me, eh? White man eats the body of Jesus. Hey, Major Knox, we're leaving now. Too much bourbon in his bourbon. So, who? Uh, getting dressed? Thank you. Oh, oh. Fervent. 
trust. Break. Rest stop. Yeah, no. Do you, do you mind? If yes. Did you feel it all? A certain. Bone! It's a bone. Administer some of this to Toffley. Thanks. <laughs> wake up! Wake up! Wake up! You are thinking. Right! Yes! No, no, no. Yes! You can sleep outside, you. Boy, you too. Stay there. Sit! It's not what you think, I. Sounds good. I was having a no. Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. Wait, Diego. Got the lantern. George, Toff. I'm sorry, but I need an officer in there. Here. Just stay the hell out of my way, all right? Go back, right, Colonel? Me. Boyd! Right? Right, the colonel's come. Oh, God. Do you think for a time? Why? It's a trap! Oh, we got George. 
There he is. Let's go. Come on. So now let's move. Boy! Cold. Nice. Should we stay here? I need you to tell me what to do. Oh, 
Indigo. I need to know how to stop it. I did not kill him. I did not kill him. Martha. So, when Digo eats, you must eat. You stop when Digo. You give yourself. No sign of a sign of anyone, not Colonel Hart's rescue party. No rope, no bodies. You don't believe me, sir. Well, we have. Windigi is the stuff of campfires. Would you stop myths? I told you the facts, sir. Boy, if you altered muddled recollection, on the day that we spoke to you, you were your company. That's why I'm giving you this second opportunity. Who's that? New Colonel. Yes. Captain, this is Colonel Ives. Colonel, Captain Boyd. Now, what is the matter with you, Captain Boyd? Sir. Colonel Ives is... He's the one that killed... Look at him, sir. Major Knox. Ma Major Knox. But as I was saying, sir... Struck him in the shoulder. Would you humor me a moment? Oh, please, Colonel. My last physical examination was... Uh... Leave now in order to avoid the storm. Ward told the General Colonel Ives killed everyone. I think he's the reason nobody come back. Consider yourselves warned. Do you need... Sentimental fell. Well, well. It appears a number of us could. I found your private rank up there. Good soldier ought to be. No, not that long ago, I couldn't do that. That along was foul. Fierce headaches. Horrible shape. In fact, Indian scout told me a curious story. He absorbs. I just had to try. Const Later, through circumstance, my wagon train grew. Tuberculosis. Happy. And healthy. Well, as a matter of fact. You're disgusting. <laughs> You've tasted it. Ah! Morality. I'm sorry. Did I offend you? Scent always jogs the memory, don't you? Someone else coursing through your veins. Someone brave, being from your grasp. A 
to remind you of that. You're feeling it right now. He died, you died. Well, what in heck do you want to rap? Marlo. Babes. Did you check around outside? No. Well, check around outside. must travel to San Miguel by foot. No, no, the Ives. Ives. Yes. Fire the box, please, in the horses, boy. You hear me? I'll do it. Good gracious. Knox. I hated doing that. Horses. I thought I was dead. I remember there was nothing. Back. I feel terrific. No, I like you, Boyd. Finished? Oh, I'm afraid Major Knox is post. You take over. Westward. Expansion. Now come in. We'll travel over those mountains on the way. We won't kill. Good God. We don't want to break up. Jolly old heart and I. General Slauson. Home. And this country is. You know, it's not courage to resist me, Boyd. Well, you just won't resign yourself to it. It's easy, actually. Oh, well. It's all right, it's not fatal. Stu, I'll Major Knox, the strong. Eat to live. Well, it's an easy decision, Boyd. You cannot. Trusted. Hey. 
as struggling with the nature of man, the ideal society, happiness, and how to achieve it. True, and look where it got me. Fort Spencer. Sir, you know I can't do that. No. Cleves. No. Knox. No, I don't want to hear this. There's no time. Breakfast, lunch, reinforcement. You have to kill me. During the Spanish-American driven to extremes by hardship, grapples with cannibalistic urges in himself while confronting a vicious serial killer who is joyously living the cannibal lifestyle. Too tempting to make bad puns here, such as saying this film is strong meat, but I'll try not to. 
Ravenous is not for the faint of heart, or of stomach, but if you can deal with the disturbing subject matter, this movie will reward you with a sardonic, intelligent script, slick direction, compelling performances, gorgeously haunting images and even surprise. A few laughs, albeit you laughs, albeit through clenched teeth. Tall order though it may be, this film leaps nimbly and unselfconsciously back and forth across the gulf separating humor and horror, taking the viewer breathlessly along for the ride. Not your tacky, run-of-the-mill slash fist, Ravenous draws you in with a skillful blend of psychological conflict, bone-gnawing, sorry, suspense, three-dimensional characters and real wit. Insofar as it defies ready classification, it has perhaps a tiny bit of spiritual kinship with an American werewolf in London, which must have been it every bit as challenging to market as this one apparently was. Don't let the amorphous nature of the ad stop you this one is worth the trip. Dying is for losers in this film are some of the most realistic I've ever seen in any film. We have men on the brink of insanity, stuck in a nowheres fill of mind-numbing boredom, we have the real, palpable feeling that they know they are here for punishment, and yet theirs is a pride that is endearing. We have a monster in the form of a man who wants most of all to live. As Carlyle's character Colyum slash Ives tells it, I was dying tuberculosis, coughing blood up, splitting headaches. I ate, and now. I'm paraphrasing, I'm paraphrasing, a film about courage, but shallow. This film scared me in a way very few films could. Perhaps it reached a deep-seated fear of being eaten that is a suburbanite, I don't have to deal with often. Perhaps it awoke a fear or realization of being forced to feed on flesh to survive. Whatever it is, this film was everything I thought it couldn't be, well-written, well-directed, with imagery that could punch a hole through your guts and leave you wondering for hours afterwards. See it in the afternoon and give yourself a few hours of sunlight to recover, sunlight to recover. Amazingly underrated beautiful music, beautiful characterization, beautiful cinematography, beautiful script slash direction slash acting, beautiful gore. It's just an amazing movie. Watch it. Awesome movie. Do not read much before getting into it. It's a horror suspense 1800s. Good soundtrack. Good script. Good actors. Good director. Interesting development, not a big budget, but still doesn't feel cheap. On my top 10 Western movie, top 10 Western movie.